Deputy Speaker, I had the honour of joining members of the South Australian Cambodian community to celebrate Cambodian New Year on the 15th of April at the popular temple on Burton Road in Paralawi. We were privileged to be joined by the Honourable Mr Kem Sokar, the new opposition leader of Cambodia. Mr Sokar is the president of the Cambodia National Rescue Party, the CNRP, the official opposition, and assumed that position after the forced resignation of Mr Sam Rainsy as a, re a result of a number of changes introduced by the Hun Sen regime to the electoral laws in February of this year, sweeping powers given to the regime to dissolve opposition parties on a range of grounds that are recognised around the world in many cases as quite spurious. Mr Sokar, I understand, met with a number of DFAT officials and also organised a number of other events around Australia. There are 30,000 Australians, Deputy Speaker, who were born in Cambodia and many more who are of Cambodian descent. They have a deep interest in the third pillar of the peace accords in which Australia played such a significant part being implemented, and that is the granting of civil and political freedom to the Cambodian people. On June 4, elections will be held at a local level, and the rest of the world will be watching to ensure that those elections are free and fair. I have written to the Minister for Foreign Affairs to seek her advice as to what uh, the Australian government is offering to support those elections on June 4.